Welcome to Hopkinton, Massachusetts. This is the beginning of the Boston Marathon. Thousands of runners come from all over the world to meet here at the starting line. Their journey starts off at Athletes Village where runners mingle, meditate and fuel up hours before the race. Everyone though is running for a different reason. Just uh, hopefully eventually get the Olympic trials qualifier. Keeps you young because I can't play basketball anymore. There are 26 miles between these runners and the finish line here at the 114th annual Boston Marathon. But for Greg Wagner it's a small feat compared to what he's had to overcome in his lifetime. Well, I survived a ruptured brain aneurysm and a stroke when I was three years old. So nobody ever expected me to really live, let alone run a marathon. So the fact that I could not only run a marathon, but qualify for Boston and then finish, the, and then finish first in my division, now I'm back to hopefully finish first again and launch a motivational speaking and advocacy career to inspire other people to live life to the fullest, basically. Greg has had to overcome many obstacles, including damage to his dexterity and motor control, to the point where his right side cannot function without his left. I've got a whole group of probably about 2,000 brain surgery survivors that are supporting me and all their stories of just how they've overcome disabilities and done things they never thought that they could do and how I've actually helped them realize that. You know, there are so many stories that are just going to carry me each step of the way. Due to his disability, Greg was discriminated and overweight early in his life. He spent his late teenage years working out at the gym, rebuilding his strength. Now his disability is nowhere to be found along the route of the Boston Marathon. Reporting in Hopkinton, I'm Christine Ryan, EIV News.